Okay, so good morning. Um, today we are discussing or we are going to solve uh, situational problems or word problems involving parabolas. I have here two examples only. Uh, merong example sa libro nyo, sa textbook nyo. It is isa lang din. So, let's see. Okay. Example number one. Now, our problem says that a satellite dish has a shape called a paraboloid where each cross-section is a parabola. So, kung nakakita na kayo ng uh, satellite dish, di ba, para siyang para siyang plato, kaya nga tinawag siyang dish. Kaso, medyo curved siya na hindi naman masyadong uh, ang tawag dito, hindi rin naman masyadong malalim na kagaya ng mangkok. No, parang more of plato talaga siya. Kaya tinawag na satellite dish. At um, paraboloid, syempre, a 3D yan, solid, uh, yan, solid figure. But pag sinabi mong paraboloid, which cross-section is a parabola. Okay, and since radio signals parallel to the axis will bounce off the surface of the dish kapunta sa focus, the receiver should be placed at the focus. Uh, that is one um, application of a parabola. Actually, hindi lang siya sa satellites, um, kahit sa mga mirrors, kung maalala nyo ng grade 10 sa physics, no? we, if we pass a light ray parallel to the axis of the parabola, lahat ng yun ay dadaan sa focus. And so, in din siya sa communications, electronic communications sa mga satellite, na kung saan kapag magre-receive ng signal yung satellite, pupunta siya sa focus. Okay, dahil nga kapag parallel sa axis ng parabola yung signal, ay marireceive siya, magbabounce siya papuntang focus. Nangyayari, nilalagay yung receiver, actually yung antena, antena receiver doon sa may bandang focus para ma-receive yung maximum, magkaroon ng maximum reception. Ang tanong sa atin dito is, how far should the receiver be from the vertex if the dish is 12 feet across and 4.5 feet deep at the vertex? So, it's better na magkaroon tayo ng diagram or drawing natin. So, ganito yung magiging itsura or ganito yung itsura ng uh, paraboloid na tinatawag. Satellite dish. 12 feet siya dun sa taas. So, ibig sabihin, kapag tinitignan mo siya sa taas, yung diameter niya, ito, mula dito hanggang dun, that is 12 feet. Tapos, yung lalim niya naman, that is 4.5. So, mas maganda for simplicity and para mas madali, mabili na, mas madaling um, ma-solve, ilagay na lang natin Okay, i-place natin yung vertex or yung dulo ng parabola or ng ating satellite dish sa origin. Like so. so. Parang ditong sa ating second diagram, nilagay natin yung vertex or yung bottom part ng satellite dish or ng cross-section ng parabola sa origin which means 0, 0. And because of that, since 12 feet across yun, eto yung 12 yung nasa taas and since nasa origin yung vertex natin yung y axis natin yun yung axis of symmetry ibig sabihin hahatiin niya yung parabola into two equal parts because of that yung coordinates na ngayon ng points na to yung dulo um, yung mga dulong taas ng ating satellite is ang kanyang x coordinate is negative 6 sa left and then sa right positive 6 kasi from here to here, yung distance niyan, of course, 6 units. From the vertex, papunta dun sa dulo, 6 units. That makes 6 plus 6, 12 feet. Which is the description nga nung satellite natin, which is 12 feet across. Yung 4.5 deep naman, sabi niya, yun yung from yung pinakamataas na part ng satellite, papunta sa ating vertex. Yun yung lalim ng parabola, which is 4.5 feet deep. Which means na if you draw a line doon sa dulo 
ng ating parabola, ang line na yun is y equals 4.5 or dadaan siya sa uh, y-axis which has a value of 4.5 or ito hanggang doon sa ating vertex 4.5 units and since nasa taas 4.5 positive 4.5 yung ating makukuhang y value so for simplicity ganyan na yung ginawa natin nilagay natin sa origin and then we draw the corresponding parts as what is given in the um, description ng problem and now we are required to find the distance of the receiver from the vertex okay at dito nilalagay yung receiver and as what the problem explained yung receiver or yung antenna receiver is located at the focus so ang talagang hinahanap natin is yung distance from the focus papunta sa vertex natin Okay. And as you can see, since this is a parabola which opens upward and the vertex is at the origin, ano ang magiging standard equation natin, di ba? Remember R Y U X. If it opens upward, si X po ang merong square or ang kanyang degree ay 2. So magiging X squared equals for C, Y. Okay, bakit wala tayong HK? Kasi nga, nasa origin tayo. Ang vertex natin ay origin. Okay, it is the same way as kahit lagyan natin siya ng ganito, X squared, X minus H squared times 4C uh, equals 4C times Y minus K. Eh, ang HK natin vertex is at 0, 0. So, pag ziniro mo yan, babalik lang din tayo dito. So, doon nang galing yung standard equation for parabolas uh, with origin at vertex. Or, vertex at the origin. Sorry. And from there, okay, paano natin makukuha yung value ni C, sir? Okay. Ang gagawin nilang lang natin is yung mga points that are exactly on the parabola. Which means, these points will satisfy the given equation of the parabola. At ayun nga sa ating drawing, okay, marami tayong pwedeng gamitin point dyan. For example, pwede mong gamitin si vertex kasi it passes through the parabola, ba? Point siya in the parabola. Kaso nga lang, wala kang makasolve na value ni C. Kasi magzi 0 0 yan. 0 equals 0 lang yung makukuha mo. Ang aim natin is makuha yung value ng C. Ano ba kasi yung value ng C? C is the value of yun yung distance from vertex to focus, which is yun yung nga yung hinahanap natin. So, let's try other points. etong dulo ng kabila, eto, which is 6 feet to the right of the vertex and 4.5 feet above the vertex. Yan. Pwede natin gamitin itong point na to, itong 6, 4.5, kasi yan yung dulo ng ating parabola. Pwede rin namang itong nasa kabila, which is negative 6, 4.5. Supposed to be, same lang yung makukuha natin ng value ng C, kasi these two points are in the parabola, or these two points will satisfy this given standard equation. So, kahit saan dyan. So, uh, gamitin natin itong 6, 4.5. So, we get, syempre x, y yan, kasi coordinate, mauna si x, susunod si y, kaya ang x natin ay 6, ang y natin is 4.5. So, we get 6 squared equals 4c times 4.5. That is equal to 36. 4 times 4.5, that is 9 times 2, 18c. Solving for c, we divide both sides by 18, and we get that the value of C be equal to 2 feet. So, ito na po yung sagot. Um, ang sagot is that yung ating antenna receiver is located 2 feet above the vertex. Pwede nyo rin pong gamitin yung negative 6, 4.5. And as you can see, 
parehas lang din naman po yung makukuha natin yung sagot. Kasi naka-square naman si x. So, magiging positive 36 pa rin naman yun. And then, we get 18c din siya. And therefore, we end up with a same result, which is c. Moving on to the next example. Here. The cable of a suspension bridge hangs in the shape of a parabola. Uh, this is also a common application of a parabola. Although, uh, sa mga bridges, tulay, sa mga tulay, although meron ding hyperbolic na tinatawag, hyperbolic bridges, Okay, common pa rin naman yung parabolic bridge na tinatawag. Okay, the towers supporting the cable are 400 feet apart and 150 feet high. If the cable at its lowest is 30 feet above the bridge at its midpoint, how high is the cable 50 feet away from either tower? Anong pinagsasabi niyan, sir? <laughs> so, dahan-dahanin natin. Kung magkakaroon tayo ng rough sketch, uh, syempre, gawin natin ulit na nasa origin ulit. Sabihin na natin nasa y-axis. So, kung meron tayong tulay, kunwari dyan, ganyan, eto yung tulay natin, sabihin natin yung tulay natin nasa mismong x-axis. So, kung mapapansin nyo, Siyempre, kailangan niya ng support. Lalagyan natin ng posti dito sa magkabilang dulo. Ito mismo yung tulay, ah, yung nasa x-axis. Lalagyan lang natin ng support, parabolic. Tapos meron siyang support dito sa magkabilang uh, dulo. Suspension bridge kasi siya. Ibig sabihin... May mga tali-tali dito. Actually, may mga metal. Ayan. Na tali siya na metal. Kung na, na, kung na, na visualize nyo. Para, uh, tawag dito, mabuhat pataas yung bridge. Kasi nakasuspend siya. Suspension nga, nakasuspend lang siya. And of course, para mabuhat yan, magkakaroon tayo ng mas matibay pa na pundasyon na suporta dito sa magkabilang tulo. Ayan. So, itong dalawang pundasyon na yan, or support sa magkabidang lang dulo, ay 400 feet apart. So, kung ang gitna natin, sabihin natin nasa y-axis, ibig sabihin, from the y-axis, this is 200 feet, and then, sa right naman, 200 feet din yung kabila, uh, right support, 200 feet away from the y-axis. The left support is 200 feet away also to the left ng y-axis. To make it 400 feet apart. And then, um, the height of the support is 150 feet high. So, both are 150 feet high. So, nasa dulo ito ng parabolic, ano natin, cable. Ayan. Ibig sabihin, they are in the parabola itself. Therefore, they satisfy the equation of the parabola. Kaya, it is better na lagyan na natin kaagad ito ng um, sabi natin, coordinates. Since this point, okay, yung right support, yung dulo ng right support, which is also yung dulo ng ating parabolic cable, is 200 feet away from the y-axis. Yet, that means, yung kanyang x-coordinate ay 200. Tapos, ang height niya is 150 feet. Ibig sabihin, yun naman yung y niya. Okay. Dun sa left side, left side naman siya. So, magiging negative lang yung 200 natin. Kasi, to the left siya ng y-axis. Pero, yung y niya, which is 150 feet, still, nasa, uh, nasa taas siya or nasa positive y-axis siya, kaya positive 150. Yung pinaka-lowest part, pinaka-lowest, yung lowest point ng ating parabolic cable is 30 feet above the bridge. Ibig sabihin, 
hindi ka ga- uh, unlike yung ating satellite kanina na kung saan yung vertex natin is nasa origin sinet natin sa origin this time hindi natin siya pwedeng iset sa origin given yung mga prior conditions na ginawa natin kasi sabi niya dito 30 feet above the bridge yung lowest point the lowest point is also the vertex right and because that is 30 feet above its midpoint and above the bridge meron tayong certain value ng y. Hindi siya 0,0. Kasi nandito yung origin mismo. Okay. Yung origin natin, nandoon mismo sa may tulay. Okay. And since yung parabolic cable is 30 feet above that, 0 yung x natin, pero magkakaroon na ngayon ng 30 na y. Kasi nasa, nasa taas yung cable natin. Yung um, vertex ng ating parabola is above 30 feet above the origin. So, yan na po yung magiging ating uh, uh, parts ng ating parabola. Ang tinatanong po sa atin is how high is the cable 50 feet away from either tower? So, kung ito yung tower, so, kung yung right tower yung um, uh, consider natin, that is 50 feet away, so, magbibilang tayo ng 50 feet Siguro nandito. Uh, that is, since 150... Ay, sorry, sorry. Ayan. <laughs> Meron pala akong drawing. So, eto yung magiging... <laughs> hindi na siya rough sketch. A clearer sketch. Yung ating tower is... Ang kanyang x-axis is 200. Yeah, located siya. 200 feet to the right of the y-axis. Yung left tower is 200 feet to the left of the y-axis. Which means, ang kanilang x-coordinate ay 200 and negative 200 respectively. So, eto na yung ayan, Adjust ko lang ng konta Nakikita nyo na ba? So, again Yung dalawang support natin at Support towers Is 200 Yung isa, yung right support Is 200 feet To the right ng y-axis And yung isa, 200 feet to the left of the y-axis. And therefore, ang kanilang x-coordinate is 200 and negative 200 respectively. Ang tinatanong sa atin is gaano kataas yung parabolic cable? 50 feet from both supports. Siyempre, hindi yan 50 feet to the right. Kasi as you can see, um, isang parabola lang siya at merong hangganan yung ating um, parabola. So, which means, kapag yung support ng right support ito, Kapag itong support ang pinag-uusapan and then measure natin yung 50 feet away from this support, hindi siya dito sa right side niya, okay? Dito siya. Para parte pa rin siya ng parabola. So, nasa may bandang 150. Kasi 50 feet away or 50 feet to the left ng right support. So, yan. Kaya, ang tinatanong na sa atin is gano'ng kataas? Which means, Um, yung height or yung y value nung parabola. And then, the same way, dito rin po sa kabila, negative 200, 50 feet away from that is negative 150. Negative 150 yung x atin. And then, ang kanyang magiging coordinate is negative 150. And then, yung height niya is question mark. Pero, again, this is a parabola our uh, the axis of the parabola is the y axis it divides the parabola into two symmetric curves tama parang mirror siya so kung nakuha mo na yung sagot dito at since parehas naman yung distance you no know, symmetric naman kumbaga so kung ano yung makukuha mong height dito sa first uh, dito sa right tower yun din yung makukuha mong uh, height dito sa left tower so no need na nakunin pa yung 
um, dito sa left. Pero kung gusto mo, pwede mo namang kunin just to check kung tama yung makukuha mong sagot. Okay. The first thing to do, again, is to write the standard equation or the equation of the parabola. Balikan ulit natin yung mnemonics natin, which is ry ux. Again, the parabola, as we've seen in the figure, opens upward. Therefore, ang variable natin na merong degree na 2 or yung squared variable natin is yung x. Yung origin na, or yung vertex natin is wala na sa origin and therefore, magkakaroon na tayo ng vertex na h minus k squared equals 4c times y minus k. Ito na yung standard equation ng parabola na opens upward at ang may vertex na h, k. Obviously, yung vertex natin is 0.30. Yun yung lowest point, point ng um, parabolic cable. So, substitute natin. Yung h natin ay 0. Yung k natin is 30. Therefore, we get kung 0 yan. So, magiging x squared na lang yung left side. And then, the right side is equal to 4c times y minus 30. Ang hinahanap natin is yung point in the parabola, yung height ng parabolic cable 50 feet away. So, gagamitin natin itong coordinate na to. X coordinate, coordinate natin ay 150. Ang Y coordinate natin is question mark. Pwede ba natin i-substitute agad dito? May masasolve ba tayo dito? Wala. Kasi dalawa yung unknowns natin. Hindi natin alam yung Y Tapos, hindi din natin alam yung C. So, ang pwedeng gawin natin is what? Kunin muna natin yung value ng C. Okay? Gamit yung ibang equations which are, which are still, uh, which still satisfies the given equation of the parabola. Or, gamitin natin yung ibang points na still it passes through the parabola or is a part of the parabola. So, pwede natin gamitin itong 200-150. Pwede rin natin gamitin, hindi natin pwedeng gamitin itong 0-30, again, yung vertex, kasi magsi-0 equals 0 lang din yan. So, other than the vertex, pwede natin gamitin itong 200-150, kasi part pa rin siya ng parabola, or nakikita natin itong point na to sa parabola na to, and therefore, it still satisfies the given equation. So, Using 200-150, we solve for C, we get 200 squared equals 4C times 150 minus 30. 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 equals 4C times 120. And that is equal to 4C times 120, 480C. Solving for c we divide 480 on both sides. And ang makukuha natin C is equal to 2. So, C equals 250 all over 3. Pag nakuha mo na yung C, Isa substitute mo na yung C na yan doon sa standard equation natin dito. So mag magta-transform na ngayon yan or masisimplify na natin yung standard equation natin to be x squared equals 4 times yung na-compute mong value ng C that is 250 all over 3 times y minus 30. And we get x squared equals 1,000 all over 3 times y minus 20. Okay. Ito na ngayon yung magiging working equation na... Uh, so, where do you get the y minus 20? Ah, sorry. Sorry. That's y minus 30. Now, we can substitute our, yung talagang kinukuha natin, which is the coordinate 150y, where y is the height of the parabolic cable 50 feet away from the right 
tower so using 150y tawagin na lang natin y yung unknown no so we dito na lang ako sa taas magsulat 150y So, using x squared equals 1,000 all over 3 times y minus 30, we substitute 1,000 all over 3 times y minus 30. We solve for y. 150 squared is 22,500. equals 1,000 all over 3 times y minus 30. Okay. We can divide both sides by 1,000 all over 3 or mag-cross multiply na lang tayo which means yung 3 pupunta sa taas and then yung 1,000 pupunta naman sa baba. So that is 22,500 times 3 divided by 1,000 equals, matitira yung y minus 30 dun sa right side. Simplifying the left side, 22,500 times 3 divided by 1,000, we get 135.2 or 67.5 which is equal to y minus 30. Um, transpose natin yung negative 30 para masolve lang si y. 6, 7.5 plus 30 and that will give us 97.5 feet. Okay. Therefore, yan na po yung sagot. The height of the parabolic cable 50 feet away from the right tower is 97.5 feet. And since dun sa kabilang tower, symmetric po tayo, ganyan din po yung makukuha natin. 97.5 din po. There is one also method called the squared property of parabola na kung saan hindi na natin um, isosolve si C. Okay. In this method, you are not required or hindi mo na kailangang um, isolve pa si C or si 4C, or si C dyan. And then you substitute it again, and then you solve for the... Okay, how is the squared property of a parabola works? I'll just... Is it okay? I'll... How do we use the squared uh, property of a parabola? Okay. Given that we already have the standard equation of the parabola in this um, example x squared equals 4c times y minus 30 any point in this parabola satisfies this given um, equation and since 4c is constant because we are referring to one parabola alone so i can rewrite this equation x squared times y minus 30 equals 4c 4C is actually constant. It means, hindi yan magbabago. It will never change what, uh, whatever the value of X and Y is. That is, instead of changing uh, the value or instead of solving for 4C or C, I can use 4C as a proportion. That means, I can use two points and the ratio of that, the ratio of x1 squared all over y minus 30 is equal to 4c. That is also the same for other points and for all points actually inside the parabola. Kasi constant naman si 4c. So I can rewrite that equation using that 4c is constant. 
pwede kong gamitin ito. Ito yung tinatawag nating squared property ng parabola. That means, you can use um, points and ratio of these points, certain ratio given this expression, na parehas lang. And from here, I can use any two points in the parabola and it will satisfy this equation. Kaya ang mangyayari, gamitin na lang natin yung kahit anong points dyan. For example, um, gamitin natin si 150y kasi yun yung hinahanap natin, tama. And then yung pangalawang point which is also in the parabola, dapat nasa parabola din, 200, 150. So instead of solving for C, pwedeng direkta na tayo dito sa tinatawag nating squared property. So we let x1 be 150, y1 be y x2 be 150 and y2 uh, x2 be 200 and y2 be 150 so substituting in this formula 150 squared all over y minus 30 equals 200 squared all over 150 minus 30. Simplifying the right side, I get 200 squared all over 150 minus 30. As you can see, makukuha ko 1,000 all over 3. And then, cross multiply ko si y minus 30. 150 squared equals 1,000 all over 3 times y minus 30. Ito ah, dito. Oh, cross multiply mo. So, itong 200 squared all over 150 minus 30, nasimplify natin siya as 1,000 all over 3. So, pwede mo na siyang burahin actually kasi wala na akong space. So, buburahin mo na siya. Equal yan sa 1,000 all over 3. So, tapos magkukross multiply ka Si y minus 30 pupunta sa taas or sa kabila dahil nasa baba siya, aangat na siya. Then 150 squared. And as you can see, bumalik tayo dito. ba? Diba? Ito yung unang solution natin nung sinroll natin si C. C, similar lang yung makukuha natin sagot. Ayan. At kapag um, kinuntinyo natin ito, solving for y, we still get the same value of 97.5. Okay. Mas mabilis to ng konti because we skip one step which is hindi na natin sinolve yung value ng C actually two steps tapos yung C na yun sinubstitute mo pa dito ulit sa ating um, standard equation and then you go again substitute the points 150y para masolve si y dito hindi na kasi alam naman natin we use the fact that 4C is constant sa parabola na to And therefore, it satisfies the squared property na tinatawag. Ito. Yan. That means, yung ratio na ito ay equal lagi sa 4C. So, medyo mas mabilis siya. So, pwede natin gamitin to instead of um, solving for 4C. Kasi, hindi naman tayo required na hanapin si 4C. Okay. Not unless the problem states that you are required to get C yung distance ng vertex of focus pwedeng gawin mo ito para at least you hit two, bird, two birds with one stone but since hindi naman siya required in this problem kahit hindi mo na siya kunin gamitin na lang natin yung squared property ng parabola any questions dun sa squared property ng parabola at dito sa, part, sa example na to Okay, wait, I'm gonna share. Ito, ito, oo. Nakita nyo ba? Page 26. Di ba last time ang pinagawa ko sa activity 4 yung 1A and 2A? So this time you solve number 3. This, an architect is trying to design a parabolic arc. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. 
if you do not have any questions now you do the activity that is that is due today 12 p.m.